Okay guys, welcome back to another Tricks of the Trade tuition video from me, Tom Cor, from here in the living room. I think I've gone back to 2016, so it's a while ago. I've... In this video, I am gonna talk you through the Pete Rose. And I've, there's an example of a Pete Rose off a flat and a Pete Rose off a kicker. It's a better trick to do off a kicker, but Let's get into the Pete Rose. Beneath the glam, the glitz, the bling and the glitter. Sleeping in the dark in the park with no Twitter. No Facebook, just a book with my face. I'm eating from the trash, can you imagine the taste? It's a disgrace to be so displaced in this world full of riches with drop tops and switches, Rolexes, fablets, Galaxy tablets, rolling in the Lexus, making calls on the Nexus, playing with a widget, wipe off the smidget, let me get the digit while you slow, while you fidget, life can be rigid when the situation's jagged, seen as nothing more than a fly from a maggot, Jim Crow, what the Jim so Pete Rose is a toe side takeoff trick and it's really good to learn to t pop toe side because it will open up your trick list hugely. So go back over my previous videos and have a look at some of the, take -off, the toe side takeoff trick examples where you stay hooked in. However, this is the next level. This is the unhooked Pete Rose from a kicker. As you come into this, you wanna go into this with speed, but you have to consider the timing of the wave to be used as a kicker or the fixed kicker, depending on what you're, you're working with but you want to switch to toe side pretty early so that you get a stable and confident rail in your toe side edge. In this example on the wave Pete Rose, I'm actually unhooking at the same time that I'm switching to toe side so that you land in toe side going downwind with speed towards the kicker and that gives you the moment to time the kicker hit. So you're unhooked, you've got your back elbow locked into your side which is holding your bar close to your chest and you use your board rail to continue going downwind in toe side as to not overload your edge as you hit the kicker you want to progressively load that edge into the kicker just a little bit so that you get a really nice clean takeoff here i release my back hand from the bar and because i'm in toe side it means that my front hand is actually my back hand. It's a bit confusing, but leaving your front hand, your toe side front hand on the bar, and it allows you to open your chest into that sort of weird back flip rotation. So you use your whole upper body and your shoulders as you hit the kicker to stand tall and go into a back flip rather than a back roll. Once you've taken off, you reach your hand that isn't on the bar back onto the bar again, re-grabbing because you're actually gonna have to switch hands in order to make the pass. So you take off with your front hand as lead, use your upper body into the flip. As you take off, you bring your other hand round back onto the bar, right in the center again. You use your full upper body power to continue that inverted back flip rotation. That is when you make the break for the counter rotation to complete that handle pass. So you let go with your other hand off the bar and really use your shoulder, your head, and your upper body momentum to drive that counter rotation. Remember, the Pete Rose is a KGB but from toe side. So there are elements that you can take from that. Completing the pass behind your back and this motion in itself will bring you back round into the right body position to drop into the landing, bend your knees, stomp it and ride away. 